Good morning traders. So how do we trade the DAX today? So yesterday's daily uh, is pretty much a non-event for me. It's uh, an indecision bar. Some people could argue that it's an inside bar. To me, I want to see a green inside bar uh, and it will give me an indication that the bulls did take control of the day. But nobody had control of the day. I suppose the bears had a slight advantage that we've closed red, but uh, ultimately lots of indecision. Nobody really knows what's going on. Now, the problem that I have with this whole setup right now is we have this zone of support and resistance here. And you can see the further I go back, you can see how price behaves inside that zone. Now, we're in the zone and um, the big question is whether we are going to continue to the downside or whether this is going to go sideways. And my opinion right now is today is going to be a sideways day. Okay, uh, maybe wrong, but um, that's kind of the way I see it. So if we look at the the 30 minute, you can see how this this downward trend may very well have changed. We had a double bottom, and we've created higher highs, and we've created higher lows. So this could have changed, or alternatively, this was the first move. This is our um, first move up. Now we're looking for a second move down. So. Pretty much indecisive for me. So I think for me today on the DAX, I'm more than likely not going to trade this. But if you are going to trade it, I'll give you the areas that I would be watching. So I'm definitely watching for a short bounce of 12290 or 1228385, somewhere around there. So I want to retest of this tail. Okay, you can see the swing low, that's the breakout. So I want to see a retest at this level. And remember, every tail tells a story. So there was a reason why the buyers were sitting here and they pushed the price up. So obviously that is a level. Okay, so that's the first thing that I'll be watching for. The second thing that I'm looking for, I just want to get rid of this, will be a break of this trend line. Now, there are a couple of things here which could indicate a move to the upside. So you can see this is a flat top triangle that has broken to the upside and retested. So if this trend line holds, then it is long. And I'll be paying special attention to 12290 area because I suspect that we bounce back off that. And uh, if we do bounce back and create a higher low, then every indication that we will push through. Okay, but for now, I'm kind of in two minds and um, this move to the upside is way too haphazard for me and uh, if I come down to a lower time frame, you'll understand what I mean. So if you look to the left here, you can see how moving averages are pointing down and this was a well-defined trend. Okay, then you look at these moving averages here, they're crossing over each other all the time. This is indication of a consolidation phase. So this leg up to me could very well be a consolidation phase. In other words, a flag. So it'll be a, um, a bear flag for a second move of this leg here. Okay. And the reason why I'm saying that is because there's no, there's no vigor. There's no uh, um, buying frenzy at the moment. So it's kind of like buy a bit, sell, buy a bit, sell, buy a bit, sell. So there's nothing really here that's indicating that there's a, a trend change. Okay, you can see the number of red and green candles almost equal. And uh, if you look at where we are here, you've got inside bar, you've got a tail. You know, there's nothing here that is giving us um, a solid confirmation. If you look at the start of this downtrend, you can see how we had tails the top. We did have some to the bottom, but you can see how it coincided with the rollover of this moving average. And this is on the 30 minute. And you can see here, we're all over the place. Okay. So, yeah. So I think for me, probably just watch and see. Um, I'm expecting us to bounce off this level, 12290. I'm expecting us to bounce the downside on this level, unless something drastic happens in the market today, which is also possible, um, the way things have been going. 
So price action will dictate everything. Okay, so for now it is long, but it's more than likely, you know, if we do hold this trend line at the open, then we're looking for a long to there. We're looking for a 68 point trade. Take profit at that point. Um, maybe even try a short scalp here. See where it gets you. But um, for me, I think I'm actually just going to sit and uh, I'll trade some other instruments like uh, the Dow or the S&P, um, even the South African Aussie. It's just going to be, there's a lot more volatility in those instruments at the moment than what I can see in the DAX. Okay. So if you are going to trade the DAX, be very careful. Uh, this could be a retracement for a move to the downside, or alternatively, this could be a, re a trend reversal with this double bottom, and we continue moving to the upside. Okay, last thing we want to have a look at, which is probably always a good idea, just have a look where the Fibonacci levels are. So you can see the 50% is here, and your 61.8 is just above this level. So this zone here, and I'll just put a, a block in here for you. That zone there is definitely an area where you can expect the bears to step in and try and drive price down. And the question is how the bulls control that. So if you are going to take a long watch out for this area, that's going to be a profit-taking area and potentially a short entry. But again, price action dictates everything. So you'll want to see some decent price action off this level that's indicating a turn. And you can use something like the, um, the six minutes. But again, if you go back the day, look at how, you know, how price moved up and down and the moving averages would have done nothing for you. Okay, probably just this area here near the US Open where we had a decent trade. So you could see this consolidation and then the breakout of the consolidation. And the consolidation was pretty much this bar here, which broke this trend line. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking at at the moment. Um, if this green trend line here holds, then it is long, and it's long into this area here. And I'll give you the top and bottom levels of that. So this mid area here of 12290 is definitely a spot you need to watch for. Um, this one, 2274 is another area. And then 12310 is another area to watch for. So for me, if I was trading the DAX today, it would be a case of on the six minute, um, watching this trend line, and then I'll be taking profit pretty much at this area, wait for a pullback, get back in long, and then probably take profit at this area, wait for the pullback, get back in long, and take profit at this area if we do get up to there. That's kind of the way I, I would be trading it until I get a lower high. Okay, so in other words, let's scroll back like this. You can see here we had a high, and then we got a lower high, and then another lower high. So if we get a lower high on the six minutes like this, then off a level, then it's definitely going to be an opportunity to trade it short. Okay, so yeah, for me it's very topsy turvy, probably something that I don't want to want to trade today. Keep my money in my pocket, and we will trade something else. The, you know, this could also be a a bull flag forming here. I right, do this. And one thing I've learned is when there are so many variables like we have at the moment, and uh, nothing clear cut, it's sometimes better just to sit on the sideline and wait for the better setup. Anyway, guys, so. If you are going to trade the long, just be careful. Keep those stops tight and watch out for these three levels here. A break above these levels would give you confidence that we're moving to the upside. But um, I suspect we're going to bounce off these levels before we do anything. Okay, so be careful with this one. Um, if you're going to trade it, keep those stops tight and um, pretty much enjoy your day. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Cheers.